A team of international astronomers have detected an exploding star that's thought to be the oldest and most distant object ever detected in the universe. The explosion happened just 520 million years after the Big Bang, not very long in astronomical terms, which makes it one of the earliest stars of the universe. But what's amazing is that in the entire universe, nothing is more powerful than the colossal explosion that created it all. The Big Bang. Since our childhood, we are taught that the universe started with a boom. That is the Big Bang. After the blast, Everything came into existence, including our solar system and galaxy Milky Way. In 1990, NASA launched the Hubble telescope to observe the universe. This telescope was also supporting the theory of the Big Bang. In 2021, NASA launched another telescope that is the James Webb Telescope. According to NASA, the Hubble telescope is able to get data just for toddler galaxies. But James has the capability to extract information for baby galaxies. And they are right because the James Webb Telescope provided such images that have shattered all the previous theories. How did one telescope affect the theory of Big Bang? Let's find out in this video. But before you continue, please like the video and subscribe so we can generate more content for you. Before we discuss the finding of James Webb, let's do a recap of our universe so you can understand the topic in a better way. What was the origin of the universe? Many scientists believe that everything started with the Big Bang. In a word, the theory contends that everything suddenly came to life. But if we follow this theory, we cannot exactly tell what was happening before the Big Bang. However, the Big Bang theory is the most accurate theory we currently know for how the universe first came into existence. Scientists have shown that the concept correctly predicts a variety of space-related phenomena, including persistent background radiation and element abundances that have been seen over a long period of time. We can get a clear picture of how the cosmos came to be 13.7 billion years ago because of this sturdy structure. Yes, you heard it right. Our universe is 13.7 billion years old. But how did we get this theory of the Big Bang? George's Lemaitre was an astronomer who came up with the idea of the Big Bang in 1927. According to him, our universe began from a single point a very long time ago, and he also claimed that our universe expanded to get to its current form and will continue to stretch. A couple of years later, another astronomer, Edwin Hubble, observed a few galaxies that were moving away from us. And amazingly, he observed that galaxies far away from us were moving at a higher speed. This signified that Lemaitre's predictions were true. Let me tell you that most mainstream scholars believe that the Big Bang was not a blast. It was just the expansion of the universe from a single point. But cosmologists are unsure about what happened before the expansion. Scientists are trying their best to paint a clear picture of our early universe. Scientists measure the cosmic microwave background to picture the past of our universe. These rays contain an afterglow of light and radiation left over after the Big Bang. Scientists can piece together facts about the early universe by observing this Big Bang remnant, which permeates the entire cosmos and can be viewed with microwave detectors. In order to study the properties of the early universe by observing radiation from the cosmic microwave background, NASA launched the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe Project in 2001. The age of the universe was determined by Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy to be approximately 13.8 billion years old, among other discoveries. Billions of years ago, when the cosmos were very young, it went under an incredible growth spurt. This expansion is known as inflation. During this time, the size of the universe got at least 90 times bigger than its original form at that time. And during the birth of the universe, light chemical elements were also formed. As the universe grew, temperatures dropped and protons and neutrons collided to create the hydrogen isotope deuterium. This deuterium was largely mixed to create helium. 
However, for the first 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the intense heat from the creation of the universe prevented light from shining. Atoms smashed into a thick, opaque plasma of protons, neutrons, and electrons that scattered light like fog as they collided with such fury. About 400 million years after the Big Bang, the cosmos started to emerge from its obscurity. This emergence of light is called the Age of Reionization. According to previous research, this reionization lasted for more than half billion years. However, fresh findings state that it had a shorter time period. Also, during reionization clumps of gases condensed to form stars and galaxies. The majority of the neutral hydrogen gas around was swept out and destroyed by the UV light that these strong events produced. Due to the reionization process and the removal of cloudy hydrogen gas, the universe became transparent to ultraviolet light. Since we all know theories are not facts, but we can use them to make progress and look for the truth. That's what scientists at NASA are doing. They try to study the oldest galaxies to find the shape of our early universe. Most of the above theories are still considered to be true. But since the launch of James Webb, many theories are becoming part of history. What are they? Let's find out. Have you ever watched a thriller film? If yes, then you will know that you cannot understand the scenes properly if you skip the film. And this is the same case with the universe. You will make wrong assumptions if you're not able to connect the dots. This is where James Webb is helping us to improve our assumptions, because it can read light from more distant galaxies. It has a range to read a wavelength of 0.6 to 28 micrometers. Since its launch, James Webb is making jaw-dropping discoveries. When it was launched, scientists were relying on old data. They thought they would see horribly mangled galaxies colliding with each other, because scientists believed that galaxies formed by colliding with each other. However, they were totally wrong. Recent photographs from the Webb telescope revealed enormous galaxies with magnificent smooth disks and perfect spiral geometries, just like the galaxies we see today. According to our current studies, it is difficult to produce big and bright galaxies 200 million years after the Big Bang. But James Webb Telescope has discovered a galaxy that has a redshift of 16.7. This redshift indicates that the galaxy was born just 235 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy now has a name, CER is 93,316. Redshift is the wavelength of the light emitted by the galaxy. As the galaxies are moving farther from us, they will generate light with longer wavelengths. The light with longer wavelengths is redder in color. That's why astronomers use redshift to measure the age of galaxies. This suggests that these massive galaxies largely developed 500 million years after the Big Bang. But our current study model neglects the existence of galaxies with redshift as high as 18 or just 175 million years after the Big Bang. But still, there is still a possibility if we assume the redshift to be 10. The earliest stars are supposed to have formed only 100 million years after the Big Bang. James Webb has discovered galaxies that were formed 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. But there is something strange about it. These galaxies have stars that are 1 billion years older than the Big Bang. Or can I say they are older than our universe? We've been saying that the universe started from a point and expanded further. So if nothing was formed prior to the Big Bang, where did these stars come from? Everyone who views the new James Webb Space Telescope photos of the cosmos finds them to be breathtakingly beautiful. But because they defy theory in every manner, they also greatly astonish the bulk of cosmologists and professional astronomers. Summing up, James Webb is starting new debates about the universe. If something was there before the Big Bang, what was it? If there was something before our universe, then there must be something alive as well. There are many things to uncover. But it is true, we cannot find everything about our universe. It is massively big and old. We can just try and just be astonished by the nature in space. This is it from my video. See ya in the next one. If you like to know more about space, then subscribe to the channel and like and share the video.